Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, our favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. This is your history teacher, Rojab Michira. Now we are getting to Aliman. It is another very interesting topic we get to learn. It will be very interesting and we get to look at stages of evolution of man. How did man evolve? Where did we evolve from and how did we evolve as man? Now it is going to be one of our interesting lessons we get, we're get getting to learn. Now class, by the end of the lesson, what do we expect as learners? We get to state, the, uh, we get to state where the Aegypithecus was first found and also state the features of Aegypithecus. Yes, we, 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 we'll get to state the features of Aegypithecus. Now let us get to look at the evolution of man. And one thing we must know that man evolved in stages, right? Man uh, evolved in stages, and we've got different stages that man evolved. And our first stage that we can see, it is Aegypithecus. Then from Aegypithecus, we go to Dreopithecus, then to Kenyapithecus, Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, and finally, Homo sapiens sapiens. Now, these stages of evolution of man, we get to look them stage first stage. And uh, now today, we get to Aegypithecus as the first stage of evolution of man. Now, we'll get to look at where was Aegypithecus first found, and also what are some of the features or rather characteristics of Aegypithecus as the first stage of evolution of man. Now, Aegypithecus was first discovered in Fayum Depression in Egypt. Then you might ask yourself, where is this Fayum de Depression? Now, the evidence of the earliest ancestor was found in Fayum Depression. It is in Egypt. And there is our map, as you can see there. In the lower, in, in the lower side, you can see Sudan. As you move up, we have got uh, Egypt. Then on the right side, we have got a river there, right? Now, along that river, that is where we have the Fayum Depression. Now, that is where Egypithecus was first discovered by archaeologists. Now, can you get to look at the characteristics of Aegypithecus? It was small, and it was about four kilograms. It was very small and about four kilograms. For example, you can get to see that, right? How the Aegypithecus looks. It was small, and if you get to weigh that, it is approximately around, or, or rather about four kilograms. So it was very small, about four kilograms. Can you now get to look at, at the teeth, right? Now, its teeth were that of a herbivore. This is because it was highly adapted to the forest life. Now, the Aegypithecus lived in forests, and you can get to see the teeth of Aegypithecus. It is that of an herbivore. And you all know from our biology classes how an herbivore teeth looks like. Now, can you get to look at the vision? Get to look at the hands, right? We get to realize that the hands could enable it to jump skillfully from one tree to another. As we said earlier, it lived in forests. Now that it lived in forest, the hands gave it an ability to jump from one tree to another. You can see the Jupithecus jumping from one tree to another. That was by the assistance of the hands. Now the hands were free, were flexible, and also it had the stero uh, stereoscopic vision. These hands enabled it to jump from one tree to another. Now that is how man evolved. That is the first stage of evolution of man. And also, we have looked at the uh, features of the Aegypithecus as the first stage of evolution of man. Now, class, can you get to state some of the characteristics of Aegypithecus? And also, when we are stating those characteristics, can we get to state more detailed characteristics, right? And for our research, can we get to use evolving world history from to the Oxford University Press, which is the sixth edition. That is our latest edition we are using in our classwork. Now, learners, always get in touch with us via our SMS line, via our, our, via our YouTube page, our Facebook uh, page, and also our Twitter account, which is at TV Kenya. Watch more videos and let us watch and learn.